To make this, you will need 13 green rubber bands, 14 blue rubber bands, 13 yellow rubber bands, 10 white rubber bands, and a C-clip. It's a good idea to have these items ready before you begin, so pause this video here until you're ready to follow along. The first step in making this bracelet is placing a row of green bands around the left side of the loom. We'll start from the center pin and stretch a green rubber band from the center pin out to the left side of the loom. Place it far enough down on the pin that you'll be able to place another band above it. We'll continue laying bands, one over the other, up this side of the loom. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. Now we stop at this band, one away from the end, and then we'll place the last green band from the outside into this middle point. And we'll go back to the beginning and we'll place a row of blue bands going up the center. Start from this middle pin, pull that out, make sure it's far enough down on the pin that you can lay this other one above it. And we'll continue laying a row of blue rubber bands and we'll fast forward from here. Go back to the beginning of the loom and we'll start with our yellow bands. We'll start from the middle pin, pull it out to the right, then we'll lay a row of yellow bands up the right side of the loom. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. There, we've completed laying the three rows of bands. We're going to place a cap band on this center pin. We'll use the color of our middle row, which is blue. We'll grab a blue rubber band, twist it into a figure eight, and loop it back over itself, and then place it over that middle pin. Got to make sure the bands are down low enough so that stays on there. Finally, we'll be placing a row of triangles going up the loom. We'll skip the first row of pins and start from the second row of pins. We'll stretch a white rubber band over those three pins to form a triangle. We'll lay a total of 10 triangles going up the center of the loom, using three pins each time to form that triangle. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. And we stop there. We've laid 10 triangles up the center of the loom. Now we're ready to start looping. You turn your loom around, get your hook, make sure the open side of the hook is pointing away from you and this back flat side is near you because you'll be using the back of that hook to pull pans away. We'll start from the center pin. We'll use the back of that hook to pull your blue cap band back. We'll be grabbing this yellow band right here. So you reach down and get that. Hold the cap band back with your thumb while you loop that yellow band around this left side. Now, You'll see that that formed a teardrop shape. You'll slide your hook into that point of the teardrop, pull all these bands back, slide your hook into the center of the pin, pull up and around, and then loop it around this pin. Now the next time we loop a band going up, we have this white triangular band that we need to pull back. You need to pull all those bands back, slide your hook up the center of the pin, bring it up and around, and all the way around. Your hook will work best if you keep it vertical and maybe slightly tilted forward. That gives you the best control of the bands as you're looping them. Pull this white band back, slide your hook in, up and over and around. Pull the white band back, slide your hook in, grab that yellow band, and loop it around this pin. We'll continue doing this until we reach the end of the loom. This last one, we'll grab 
that yellow band and loop it to the center of the loom. We go back to the beginning, we'll loop the center row, we put our hook in here, pull the blue cap band back, we'll grab that top band which is the blue one, we'll lift it up and over and around this pin, we'll use the back of the hook to pull these bands back, slide it up through the channel of that pin, grab that band, and lift it up over this next pin. In the center we don't have to worry about pulling back the white bands, you just reach in and grab that blue band, lift it up, and we'll continue looping the bands up the center row, we'll fast forward from here. I'm pushing all these bands down now, so we get ready to loop this right side of the loom with the green bands. Use the back of our hook, pull back that blue cap band, slide our hook up through that channel, grab the green band, and loop it out to the side. Reach into the point of that teardrop, pull the green bands back, slide your hook up the channel, and grab that and pull it around. Now here once again we have this white band of the triangle that we have to pull back with the back of our hook. You reach in with your hook, grab that green band, bring it out and around. Again you have to pull back this white band, slide your hook in the channel, grab the green band and pull it around to the next pin and we'll continue doing this till we reach the end of the loom. We'll fast forward from here. And we'll pull that one to the center. Now we've finished looping our band. I'll show you how to finish it. You'll turn your loom around. Pull all these bands up to the top of that pin, scrunch them all together. Get your hook and you'll slide it down that channel of the pin, all the way through all those bands. Tilt your hook out. Put a blue band, again that's the color of the middle row of bands, pull it back and then pull it up through all those bands, get it up over your hook and pull it up to the thickest part of your hook. Now we can pull all these bands off your loom. Now we'll extend our bracelet. You grab your loom again and you'll place a row of the blue bands that was the middle color of this bracelet along this loom. To make an 8 inch bracelet you typically need to add 6 more single chains but if your wrist is smaller you can get by with adding 4 which I've done here. You pull the cap band from your bracelet and stretch it around those two pins there and then you'll extend these rubber bands by doing a single chain until you reach the end there and pull these bands to that middle pin that makes it nice and taut so you can put your c-clip on there you grab your c-clip so that the open side is in the middle you place it over these bands and then you lift them up and you pull your band, rubber band bracelet away from your hook, stick your fingers in there and you put your C-clip over the bands and there you have a finished triple single bracelet. That's what makes you beautiful.